What's up guys, my name is Josh and I'm here today with Aces EFI to show you guys how to update your 5 inch handheld or your 7 inch Pro Dash. Now a quick disclaimer before we get into it, whenever we release software updates these do not necessarily apply to every single EFI or ignition system that we have. Sometimes the updates may include bug fixes, sometimes they can include new features, but again they may not necessarily apply to the system that you have. So what we always like to tell people is with the new updates it's always best to read the fine print of the change log that comes along with with that update package to see if this is going to apply to your system and to see maybe if your system would benefit from it. But one smart thing that we always recommend people to do is that you back up your tune that's on your system to your laptop using the data cable and the ACES tuning software. This saves the tune to your laptop so that way you can always put that same save tune if you've already run your system back onto your EFI system. Otherwise, whenever you upgrade your handheld, sometimes there's also an ECU upgrade that comes with that. And whenever you upgrade the handheld, it's going to make you upgrade your ECU at that same time. But whenever this happens, that is going to wipe any of the learned data that your system has learned thus far. And that's going to make it kind of reset back to zero and it's going to have to go through that learn process again. So if you don't want to have to go through that learn process again and you like the way that your system was driving before, like I said, just export that tune using the data cable and tuning software and then just reload it back into your system after you've completed the handheld and ECU update. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to navigate to the support section on the ACES website. And once you click there, or you can hover over the menu and then click on software, but we're going to go ahead and click ACES software. And as soon as our page loads, you're going to see we have the latest version of the software available here. So for my project that I've got going on, I'm going to update a 7-inch Pro Dash. But I will tell you the process for updating either one is going to be the exact same. So I'm going to walk you through the Pro Dash for my application. But if you have the 5-inch version, just walk through these steps exactly as I do it here, and it should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and download the file right here. It's going to open it up, and it's going to my downloads right now. And I'm going to navigate over to my file explorer, go to my download section, and here you can see 2.26 of the file I just downloaded. Now currently, whenever you download the file, it is um, going to be a compressed file, so you're going to have to decompress it first, otherwise the update will not work. So on PC, now your layout might look different, different versions of um, Windows may show it differently, but for the most part, the idea, the concept of doing it is the same. But if you have any issues with it, definitely reach out to our customer service team and we can help walk you through this. Um, so for this one, I'm going to click once on the file. And then here at the top of my window, I see an option to extract all. So I'm going to click that button. And it's going to extract it to this folder. I'm just going to go ahead and not change anything. I'm just going to hit extract. And it's going to show me, by default, it's going to, you can see where this was checked, it's going to show me those extracted files when complete. So I'll just give it some time to finish extracting. It's almost done here. And now it did open up a new window for me. And if not, if for some reason it doesn't open that up, whenever you click on your download section, you can see this one's got a little tiny zipper icon on it, which means that's the compressed one. And over here it says compressed. Now this one over here is the decompressed version. So if yours doesn't open up that window, you can always navigate back to your download section and just look at the two files. Just make sure you open the one that doesn't have the zipper logo on it, or you know you can check and just if it says file folder, you should be good to go. So I'm gonna open up this main folder right here and you should see four files. So I'm going to click and drag my mouse, that way it selects all four of them. And then we're going to right click on any of those four files and we're going to look for copy so right here I have a little logo if I hover over it it says copy we don't want to necessarily copy his path because that's not going to do what we want it to do definitely just want it to say copy or you can hold down the control button and the C button at the same time and it will copy all four of these so I'm gonna hit copy and then over here I have inserted a blank USB drive so whenever I click on it there should be nothing in here it is important that you have nothing um, any kind of you shouldn't have any kind of files in this if you want the update to work the right way So I'm just gonna click one time in it. I'm gonna right click and Then I'm going to hover over the paste icon yours may say paste down here You may have to click show more options my version does have this as a shortcut at the top But the idea is that we want to paste these files that we've copied into this folder So I'm gonna hit paste and give it just some time for it to copy those files over to it You can see it's already got two here. We'll give it a little bit more time and we get those remaining files copied over. And I have this handy little taskbar that kind of shows me the status as it's going along. 
Alrighty, now that those four files are successfully copied onto that flash drive, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click on my flash drive and I'm going to look for the eject option. Because we don't want to just unplug it from the computer, we want to make sure that we do it safely so that we know it's not being used in anything, it's not going to corrupt any of the files or the data that's on there. So I'm going to click eject and wait for this thing to disappear or for this little notification to come up, it tells me it's safe to remove hardware so I know I can now unplug this USB from my computer and now we can go on to the next step which is updating our handheld and updating our ECU as well if applicable. Alright, so we've got our 5 inch handheld plugged in along with our ECU that matches it. So we've got that plugged up, everything looks good. I'm just going to check and show you guys what the current info or the current version of this one is. So as you can see it is 2.02 .02, and we're going to be updating it to our 2.07 uh, software that we have right now at the time of this video. So I'm going to go back to the home screen though it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the power, the key switch off. We're going to plug our USB in to the top of the handheld. Make sure it's in there all the way. And then we don't have to press down any buttons or anything. We're just going to turn the key on. You're going to see it's going to come up with the update. Everything is scanned successfully, so now it's going to start loading the 2.07 software. We're going to go ahead and fast forward this bit of the video, but you guys can pause and come back as soon as yours is finished. All right, now you can see it's finished its update, and it tells us to remove the USB flash drive in order to complete it. So we're just going to pull it out of the slot. You can see it's already refreshing the home screen there and it wants us to select the system. Depending on how you had your settings before, it may or may not. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it just to not ask me this question again because I'm gonna keep it on the kill shot. We're gonna tap it twice for it to enter. Now it has successfully connected to the kill shot. Now depending on your version of the software, you may or may not need to update your ECU as well. If it doesn't tell you to update it, then you're good to go. But if it does ask you to update it, typically it will walk you through. But just in case, we're gonna show you guys how to do that on your own. So we click the button in the top right, we're going to go ahead and go to settings and we're going to click on ECU upgrade. We're going to make sure we select the kill shot product since that's the one we're working with. Hit the check mark. We're going to go ahead and do upgrade ECU. That's going to download the calibration data at the same time as well. So we'll click upgrade ECU. This is the firmware version that is on the file. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. Just to make sure we're wanting to upgrade with that one, we're going to hit OK. Then we hit start in the top left corner. You're going to see that it's going to update the Killshot app data first and then it's going to download the calibration data. So we're going to fast forward this part of the video as well and then check back in with you guys in just a second. Alright, now that it has successfully updated the app data and downloaded the calibration data, it asks us to turn the key off for 5 seconds just so the configuration is effective. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to go ahead and turn our key off. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Turn it back on. Everything should be good to go. You'll see it pull up now. Connect kill shot success. And then we're just going to go ahead and confirm. Go into our settings, hit about. And then you see we are now updated 2.07. All right, so in this next part, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to upgrade the software on your 7 inch Pro Dash. And this time we're going to be using a Jackpot LS ECU. Now, the process should be pretty similar, but we're still going to walk you guys through it just in case. So go ahead and we're going to just check and verify what version we're working with right now on the software. So we go into settings, hit about. As you can see, this handheld version for the Pro Dash is 2.15. So I've already got my 2.26 software, which is the latest one at the time of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and get that one loaded on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the power off, just like the five inch one. We're gonna go ahead and put the USB into the top and turn it on and let it run its course. All right, All right now that this one is done, we're gonna go ahead and remove it and let it restart on its own. All right, so you can see it's loading up. It does want us to choose which version that we want to see. Let me just go ahead and go with the regular one that we're used to. And it just wants to make sure that we're good with that mode, so we're going to hit OK. We're going to go ahead and choose the jackpot since that's the system we're working with. And as you can see, it's connected to it OK. Now, just like I mentioned before, it's not always necessary to upgrade your ECU. And as we've mentioned before, in doing that, that will wipe your learn data that it may be stored on that. So it's always a wise idea to back up your tune first before you do any kind of handheld and ECU update. Um, so just to say that we've done that, we're going to go ahead in here and we're going to upgrade ECU our upgrade. We're going to select the jackpot system so that way we can upgrade it. And we're going to double tap so that way it goes to the next screen. You hit upgrade ECU. 
Now, depending on which version you have, this particular one we're working with is a drive-by-wire version, but if you have the drive-by-cable version, you'll select that one. So we're going to select drive-by-wire, we're going to double tap again, it's just going to confirm with us to make sure we're good with proceeding, we're going to hit OK, hit start in the top left corner, and then it's going to start updating the jackpot app data, and then it's going to download our calibration data next. So we'll see you guys here in a few seconds. Alrighty, and just like the five inch version, now that it is done, it's asking us to turn the key off just for five seconds, so that way the configuration is effective. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to turn it off and count one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to turn it back on. Wait for it to boot back up. Select the jackpot system. And now we're just going to go in here and confirm that the update has taken place and we're good to go. And yep, looks like we are on 2.26 and it did upgrade to jackpot version 18. So we are all good to go.